few decades uh, to see if, as an aggregate, their um, frequency and severity increases. Yeah. So, then again, I mean, you say that uh, we don't know if, uh, what will have Hurricane Katrina um, in real life. Uh, I mean, if there has been no global warming, yeah. which, in which you assume that the global warming is a, is a case of human, uh, you know, I mean, I mean, you assume an anthropogenic uh, you know, basis for human uh, in global warming. Is it not the case? So, I mean, uh, which is also not a settled question as far uh, as. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just not a well posed. With, uh, when we talk about statistics like mean temperature uh, of the globe or of India, the central limit theorem helps us uh, to have statistics that are uh, robust enough so that over the period of just a few years, we can actually say what the trend is doing. Uh, but with extreme events where we're only looking at a very small fraction of the data, uh, we can only really make definitive statements about whether extreme events are increasing in frequency. If we average over a lot of events, and to do that we have to average over a lot of decades. So, so we just can't monitor the frequency of extreme events 